What's up, party animals? My name is Kezi, and today I wanted to talk about X, or Twitter, or Zitter. I don't remember what it's called anymore because it keeps changing and it's freaking out all the furries. I'm one of those furries that is kind of getting wigged out about all of the changes lately and I am not alone and e even the fandom is not the only one. So it's hard to replace Twitter for what it can provide. A mostly text-based source of just conversation and interaction with some pictures and media intertwined. You can have things like music and videos and photos posted on there without it necessarily being any different than, than any other post. You know, something like Instagram, you can't post just text. You can post pictures of text, but that's not the same thing. Now, Twitter is going under. You've probably heard the news of some big rich guy buying it up and driving it into the ground as fast as possible. And it's going amazingly if your goal was to destroy the platform. However, because of this, people need a platform that kind of encapsulates what Twitter did. And so plenty of alternatives have already started cropping up from things like Mastodon and Threads to a new one that's proving to have some traction, Blue Sky. Now, unfortunately, I know absolutely nothing about Blue Sky other than two things. One, it's invite only, and two, I'm not cool enough to get an invite. So I'm, understandably, extremely bitter because I'm left alone on a sinking platform to go f do whatever I'm gonna do on that platform while all my friends and mostly the people I look up to get to go have fun and frolic in blue skies. Because of course they do. Why not leave everyone who follows you in the dust so you can go hang out on some private island? I don't get the allure right now when there's no fan base or, or when there's no community there. I made a tweet recently and I was bitter when I said it, but it doesn't feel too far off from the truth. I bet Blue Sky would be pretty cool if it wasn't some invite only pop you fur hangout. Because this feels like I'm watching some closed room party where all my favorite people get a hangout and I'm just not there and I don't get to be there because I'm not cool enough and I can't be the only one who feels like their coolness is lacking to get on the hot new platform and it sucks it really does because Twitter now I wouldn't say it's the best place to deal with mental health issues in fact it's honestly probably making them worse like, like I've met so many people just through furry Twitter as much of a cesspool of drama and tomfoolery it is, it's also got people that I care about solely because of what they post and how they act on Twitter. I've made friends, I've found communities through that platform. And so as someone who makes content on the internet, I need to diversify and Twitter is one of those places I enjoy interacting on. So. Side note, you can follow me there, but I don't know for how long, because as more and more of the people I look up to go on to Blue Sky and ditch the Twitter platform entirely, my Twitter feed gets less and less furry, less and less wholesome, and less and less worth my time. And so it's becoming increasingly hard for me to actually want to be on there and do any kind of positive interaction. I don't want to post how my day was anymore. I don't want to post, you know, what my friends did that day. I can't even retweet what some of my friends did that day because they don't post on that platform anymore because it's dying. And so I, like many other people, am extremely bitter that one, a perfectly decent platform has been driven into the ground for no reason. And two, a great alternative, allegedly, has been blocked to anyone who isn't special. And currently, I don't feel that special. And getting it rubbed in my face that, guess what? 
you're not special because you don't have a blue sky invite is giving me FOMO I can't really just handle right now and it sucks. And this video isn't just a, hey, give me a blue sky invite because I don't, <laughs> that's not the point. The point is everyone's jumping ship to a new platform and everyone's, and the only platform that seems to be doing anything good is a platform that no one can join. And so it's just torture for everyone. Except for, you know, the three people on Blue Sky who can joke about how all these, how everyone else must continue to suffer. And so it sucks. And I hope this goes away soon because at the moment I can't post bark, 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 bark anywhere anymore without it not making sense. I've tried threads and it doesn't really have a scene that I like. It's basically just Instagram without photos and only pictures. And of course, it's not really, it doesn't have any adult content. So you post one wrong word in your band and Mastodon is way too confusing for me to even consider trying. You need to have a computer science degree to even log in. So I don't want to deal with that either because on both places you don't get that kind of dynamic community that you do with current Twitter. And even on Blue Sky, let's say pretend I do have an invite now, Blue Sky is just going to be a bunch of elitist cunts who have already have had a friend circle made. And I don't quite have that friend circle where everyone eagerly is waiting for Kezi to get on Blue Sky because it's just not there. There's not enough invites for people who don't really have much to say to be on there. And I get it from a developer standpoint, you don't want to overload the servers and this and that and the other thing. But I think it should be okay if I'm still hurt by that fact, because like I said, big FOMO energy coming out of the whole vibe on the internet right now. So really that's all I wanted to say. Just a quick, I'm going to complain about Twitter video. Um, but I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I want to stream tomorrow, so keep an eye out for that. And until next time, thanks so much for watching. Bye bye.